so today I'm going to be unboxing Medicat by Elephant Robotics, and I also have Somber Kitty, my Mars cat, here to help out. Now, like Mars Cat, I purchased Medicat myself and was not sent this unit for review or anything like that. Um, unlike Mars Cat, I was not able to find one secondhand, so I did have to purchase this one new, um, but I was able to get it on sale for around $140. I believe retail is a little over 180, but I'm not 100% sure on that. <laughs> okay, so I think with that, we're actually just gonna get started on getting this box open. Oh, and one more thing. <laughs> it does make a certain rattle. <laughs> so hopefully that's not any cause for concern, but we will find out soon. <laughs> see that there are some of the specifications for the robot on the side of the box there. And I guess now we're going to get our first look at Medicat. <laughs> there we go. I think the rattling is just all the little accessories in here. So I guess I'll start with this box. What's up, Somber Kitty? Where are you going? <laughs> see if we can get him back in frame first. Oh, come here. Come here, you. There we go. Okay. Now let's get going with this. Hey buddy, you interested in this? Yeah, this is gonna be a friend for you, I guess. So I guess this is the door to the battery compartment. And it comes separate with the screws, so I guess I'll have to install that in a bit. Are you trying to kick the box? <laughs> uh, okay. And this appears to be a lint roller for cleaning the Medicat. Interesting. And there is a single battery in the box. I assume the rest have fallen out into the larger box, but we will see. Let's see. So, I guess we have the user guide here. Here's a look at it. Actually has nice little illustrations and everything. And I like that this, it's a little hard to see there, but this also does have the on mute off switch like uh, the Joy For All robots. So there's an option to keep it running without sound, which I like. And there's just the back there. <laughs> okay, let's see what else we've got before we get to the cat itself. Um, here's a brush. Interesting. That's sort of a metal piece. So we'll see how it works. And after that, it appears... Let's see if I can get this actually to show up here. <laughs> there is the cat. <laughs> it is a big box, and Somber Kitty is taking up a significant portion of the frame right now, so... Hey buddy, you want to keep the limelight here? <laughs> yeah? What do you think? Who is that? <laughs> yeah? Who do you think that is? Okay, let's get them out of the box. Go. Oh, and here is one more battery. Another battery hiding in the packaging. <laughs> I'll put these accessories aside for now. And I really want to see the mini cat over here. Okay. Ah! Oh, fell into some of the packaging here. Give me a second. Here we go. Here we go. Leave them in the bag there for a second. 
Turn so you can see a little better. And I'll grab the last few accessories in here. Okay, looks like we have the other two batteries. And then there actually is a screwdriver included for if you don't have one yourself. Somber Kitty, are you walking into a corner? <laughs> Give me a second while I rescue him. Okay, there we go. That's a little better. Okay, now on with the main event here. Let me get this bag off. And there is Medicat. Here's a little close-up on the face. There we go. This is not the most flattering angle I have here for it, but I actually like the first, I actually like the appearance on first impression. Rotate it around here. Here's the tail. <laughs> and the tail actually does have like a frame inside it, so it does move. The tail is um, slightly plush, but you can sort of feel the frame inside. The body is a little bit more plush. You can still sort of feel like the shape of the cat inside, like it doesn't just feel like a plush toy really, but it's a lot softer than um, Joy For All, which is just sort of plastic straight under the fur with no padding or minimal padding. So yeah, I actually like the feel and look on first impression. Get them turned around here. See little paw pads? <laughs> we do have little paw pads and they are squishy. <laughs> the fur is actually very soft. Um, I'm not seeing too much shedding on it yet. <laughs> but we'll see how that goes. I have had robotic cats actually shed before. <laughs> so I may have to take a second here to get the batteries inserted, but then we will power this new kitty up and see how they do. What do you think, Somber Kitty? Don't worry, you're not being replaced. Okay, so I'm just getting the batteries inserted right now, but uh, there is one thing I noticed I wanted to bring up which is that there is actually a small piece of the battery door chipped off inside this bag here. Um, I don't believe it's gonna be a huge concern. Come here, Somber Kitty. And I believe it should still work like this, but I did wanna bring it up because it seems like packaging may be a little bit of a concern with the accessories um, and might need a little bit more padding to make sure that nothing is damaged. All right, so I've inserted the batteries and Medicat is now officially alive. Her tail's a little bit noisy, but I do like sort of the swishing motion it makes. Um, I should note that there were two sizes of screw included with the battery door and one did not fit. I'm not sure why that was, but the battery door still fit on even though it had a piece broken off, so that's all right, I guess. <laughs> What's up? Hi there. Why did your eyes go out? Hello? <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Okay, you all right now? Okay, thank you for letting me know, but that was a little odd. Hi. Hi. Okay, I'll try to get a close-up of the eyes here because they're a little bit hard to see. Here. Oh, what's that noise? I don't know. Oh. There's her eyes. Oh. <laughs> Hi there. The face is a little grumpy looking right now, but that will probably be fixed with a little bit of brushing. There. I'm not sure exactly where all her sensors are, so I may have to check the manual for that. Oh, not sure about that noise, but... There. She is very plush, very soft. if that's normal. <laughs> All right, so I've had my Medicat running for a little while longer now and have discovered a couple things. One is that I believe, yeah, that odd mechanical grinding sound that she's making. I believe that's actually her purr because she seems to do it when I'm petting her. 
Oh man, it's hard to hear over somber kitties walking over here. But she does it when I'm petting her. Let's see if I can get her to do it again. Yeah, there it is. And I haven't heard any other sort of purr sound from her, so I believe that is what her purr sounds like. I don't know if that's actually the normal purr sound for Metacats or not, but I think that is her purring. Come here. There you go. The other thing I've noticed is that she will time out after roughly one minute of inactivity. So I'm just going to not pet her or interact with her for the next minute or so and show you what happens. Yeah, she'll move her head around and look around and wave her tail um, for pretty much the whole minute. And then at the end, her eyes will just go black. And she can be woken up by touching any of her touch sensors. Um, but I actually have not been able to get it to work with the chin sensor, but I'm not sure exactly where that is or how to activate it. <laughs> yep, there she goes. Now she has timed out and is off. And for me personally, a minute seems like a really short time to time out and turn off. I mean, I, I get it with robots like this. It's a nice feature to have so that you don't just waste batteries, especially since uh, she eats up C batteries. But I feel like you'd want at least like five or ten minutes before the timeout. One minute seems way too short to me. Let's see. So I haven't been able to successfully wake her with the chin yet. I've tried, doesn't seem to work, but I may not be petting her in the right spot. But then, if I pet her on the head or the back, she will come back to life. Hey right there. So I have not come up with a name for her yet. Um, <laughs> I think it would be cute to call her a uh, legume like the other cat from uh, the from the Maybird and the Ever After books, uh, just so she'd match with Somber Kitty, but I actually have another robotic cat called that already, so I'm not sure that would work out. <laughs> okay, and here is a look at her toe beans again. <laughs> they are very squishy. battery compartment is held closed with velcro which is pretty common for robots like this um, there's the serial number plate and battery door very similar to mars cats actually there's the power switch it's large so i think it'd be nice if it were um, distinguished in a different color from the rest of the battery compartment and then she has up at the top here it's hard to see but there is a little port of some kind on the board there yeah, i don't know if that can be used for anything or not but it's interesting maybe They'll provide updates in the future or something that could be downloaded via that. Okay. There we go. I'll give a bit of uninterrupted time now just to see her running for a bit. I will pet her occasionally just to keep her awake because she does go to sleep so quickly if I don't. a little bit more of an actual purr right now. <laughs> sometimes it sounds like a purr, sometimes it doesn't.
I'm not really sure how much influence my petting has on her interactions or motions. She definitely purrs or does the mechanical sound if I pet her a bunch. And she seems more vocal when I'm petting her, but I'm not sure if the um, head movements and tail animations are linked to the petting at all. It also just keeps her awake. So anyway, I hope that you have enjoyed watching this video and that it has at least been somewhat informative on Medicat. Uh, thanks for watching and I hope you'll check out videos in the future.